Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for another exciting look into a up-and-coming beta. Today we're looking at the NHL 2018 beta, and this is being pre-called now for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One until August the 8th, so there's still time for a last-minute breakaway before Triple D can the goalie, or a last-minute wraparound to bring home the Stanley Cup for all you hockey fans. This is obviously the beta in advance of its full release on September the 15th for the consoles and the EA Sports NHL 2018 delivers the creativity of today's young NHL with the new creative attack controls and the first ever defensive skill stick. Play the fast paced arcade style 3 on 3 or the NHL 3 mode or reshape the league by creating your own custom 30 second NHL team all available with the most co-op and competitive multiplayer options ever delivered in an EA Sports NHL game. As you can see, it gives quite a lot of teams to choose from in this particular beta and gives three modes that you can try. The NHL 3's mode, which is the brand new mode, um, to the NHL 2018 demo and the NHL games, which I will go on to speak about a little bit more. You've got the EA Sports Hockey League, which you can create a character, join a team, or just go in for a quick play, um, progressing through that levels, also playing three on threes on that, and a campaign. And you've also got the online versus, where you can play in ranked matches uh, with your friends, getting jerseys, and all the stuff for your current teams. And you can see the defense and the offensive skills are quite simplistic there. You move players and either poke check, body check, um, or basically tackle. And obviously you've got your different attacking there with offensive abilities. With regards to it, um, the main focus of this will be the, the new NHL's threes mode. And this three on three action is the big addition this year and really became my focus with the beta, providing a fast pace high scoring free form with the tweaks to the stick controls being a big help. Uh, the offensive skills really help to open up the game with between leg shots and more freedom to create openings with the puck often resulting in defenders or the goalies looking ridiculous as the puck sells by. Defensively the stick controls help break up passing lanes and adds a whole ideological aspect as you try and force your opponent to make a mistake and plays that they wouldn't normally make. <clears throat> As you can see, um, you can play these threes mode both uh, by yourself, online, and cooperatively on the same console, and these characters are indicated by lights above each character. You will get coach tips while playing um, for good passing, um, checking players, good shots, shots on targets, and stuff like that. Um, one thing that I would have liked to specifically have seen in the beta, which I don't know if it's going to be in the full game or not, is um, some kind of tutorial for people that maybe haven't played any NHL games before. Um, I've played a couple in the past, and I know the basics of um, hockey, ice hockey. Um, however, there was no sort of outline or sort of um, tutorial to get you into the basics to, to know what you can and cannot do and um, potentially what could lead to a foul later on, say if you're body checking or uh, slap shotting a guy without the puck, obviously you don't want to be sent to the penalty box. Um, and of course, I think they actually made wraparound shots a little bit harder on this 3 for 3 mode, purely because you need to line up the shot, and as you can see, it does give you a nice tra trajectory angle that you can shoot to. Um, nice <laughs> goal celebrations as well, and obviously keeps the nifty handy replay. Once you finish your game as well, um, it immediately jumps back to the opposite team having the puck, as you can see. Um, so you really do have to be, be careful. And this 3 for 3 mode also does get a little bit interesting as well, for the fact of that some of the time, it's not just one score or one point that you get for scoring. For this 3 for 3 mode, depending on the puck colour and potentially what you've done with it and how you've opened it up, you can actually get a maximum of three points for your goal. And occasionally, as well, throughout the threes for three mode, they will do a little bit of a special rule. So if someone manages to score with, say, a golden puck, which comes out uh, ever so often, this can actually reduce the enemy's score by one. 
so it's always that sort of intriguingness of you've got to try and open up those lanes while trying to obviously keep the puck off your opponent. Um, with this, um, I have played a little bit of the beta now, focusing mainly on the 3s for 3s as I said. However, I did find some minor snags with the beta, and these aren't game-breaking at all. Um, they're just maybe a little bit of feedback that I saw while playing. It was a sort of disappointing, or should I say more uneven, two-on-one advantages for breakaways, often relying on the same sort of formulaic um, reciprocation of... Okay, they've now just got the puck, so you pull them back your defenders to try and defend, and obviously get the puck back. Of course, this can be said about any of the NHL games, and this isn't really something you can program away. Of course, this is what's meant to happen, and obviously in a real-life setting, you would be pulling your defenders back with, with regards to this. Um, I found that scoring off rebounds and reflections became a lot easier in this game as opposed to other NHL 2018 games and there's an awful lot in the beta of just bodies crashing into each other and there is no sort of um, outline of what's happening with the puck, where people are and there's no sort of <laughs> any ideological thing of what's happening with it. Um, of course, as I previously said, I found that wraparounds were a lot more difficult. I don't know if that's because I'm, I'm missing something or I'm not doing it particularly the way that they want you to, um, but that was a lot more difficult. Of course, at the end of each of the periods as well, you get a nice little breakdown there of the total shots and really gives you that stat boots. One thing I did like is the ability to change people out at the end of each period and they have their particular skill sets which um, come with a varying rank and you can swap them out as and when you choose. Of course, even some things as the match length and the match time, you can go ahead and change then to suit your individual needs. And I really do like that even though this three for three is a fast paced um, moment and you're really trying to get those openings and passings and shots on targets as best you possibly can, that it does come with that co-op mode. Um, in the full release of the game as well, you are going to have a campaign mode um, in which you can obviously do missions, build up your own characters, build up your own team, get your jerseys, get all the uh, places that you want to do, including Madison Square Garden, the specific three-on-three -three match area that they allow you to, and there has been talk that this will be fully co-op as well. So if that happens and allows you to play through the Stanley Cup um, with a co-op, either split screen, um, couch co-op or online. I think that would be a very nice addition and a very nice thing to include with the game. As I said, there's been nothing game-breaking or buggy with regards to my time in the demo. I played both online, I've played split screen and by myself. And I've got to say, I really have enjoyed NHL 2018 and this new 3-on-3 three -three action is definitely going to revitalize the franchise and bring some of those um, potential people that haven't tried NHL games before potentially to the series and indeed bring a nice new dynamic sort of fast-paced action for those wanting to try NHL again. So I would really like to hear your thoughts on this particular game. Have you played the NHL beta or are you going to? If you are, please let me know in the comments section below and of course if you have played it, let me know your thoughts on I really do wish to hear about them. Of course, if you enjoyed this little beta breakdown, then please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay tuned to, for all my newly released videos. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a lovely day.
stop by and say hello. Bob will be signing his old game-used gold sticks for a small fee.